So first, what is MEV? MEV stands for Maximum Extractable Value. And how MEV express in the blockchain world is because sometimes transactions hit the block at different times. And by ordering these transactions differently, there could be value to be extracted. Uh, and this is a very, well, this may sound, may sound very boring. This is a big problem from two aspects. First, from value perspective, I think since the merge, about $600 million of you know, MEV has been extracted from users, you know, LP pro providers, which is you know, simple uh, arbitrage bots. So that's one big reason. It's a very, very big value leakage from the entire ecosystem. The second reason, which is I think what a lot of people focus on nowadays, is because MEV is a, strict, it's a highly centralizing thing. Because if you do it well, you will make more money, you can invest into it, and you can do it well even more. And because of the, natu the nature of this decentralizing force, it put a lot of centralization pressure in onto the Ethereum validator sets. So these are the two main reasons MEV is really important and why you should care about it. It's a big, big problem with hundreds of million dollars at stake. It put a lot of centralization pressure onto the Ethereum validator set. And now, you know, what has been what has been, people have been doing about this uh, issue? Ethereum Foundation has been focusing a lot on uh, leading a lot of effort around PBS, which stands for Proposer Builder Separation, try to separate the centralization force outside the Ethereum validator set. And what we're trying to focus on is on the builder network. Right now, builder network is very, very centralized, and we have proposed two designs that try to alleviate this uh, centralization on the builder. And the builder, basically, they are people who are trying to order transactions and build the final block for the proposer to propose. And if you're interested in our design, they're called MapBoost Plus and MapBoost Plus Plus. And I think right now people are actually implementing these uh, designs in process, and I would, would think we're, we're gonna see implementation uh, in production very, very soon in the next few months as well.